and I've always had a, a fascination with biology and interest in, in biology in high school and volunteering at aquariums many summers in high school in the Bay Area, where, which is where I'm from. And uh, so my freshman year, I took the intro bio course and really just was taken by the class. It was taught by Ken Miller, who uh, was an amazing biology professor. And I was like, OK, I think I, I actually do want to concentrate in this as well. And, and so at Brown, it's easy to double major in things, so I did. And uh, I think it's, uh, I'm really happy with it because it's a nice balance between my, uh, I think science or biology is definitely colors my, my worldview and, and, uh, and art and theater is sort of what I practice. And, and so it was nice to have those two sort of sides of me working at the same time in school. Bloom is a play about the influences of uh, fate versus randomness in our lives, and it's in the form of uh, a play about a marine biologist named Jules who posts a Craigslist casual encounter ad for intensely significant coupling, and he lures or brings a, 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 a female journalism student, replies to the ad, and comes to his suspiciously well-stocked subterranean biology lab slash apartment um, for what she thinks is going to be sex um, and, and what she believes is intensely significant coupling, but it turns out that Jules uh, meant something else because uh, about half an hour into the play, a comet hits the planet. Uh, I reread uh, Stephen Jay Gould's uh, Wonderful Life, which is a, such an important, I think, you know, that his sort of theory in there of punctuated equilibrium and the idea of evolution happening often in these big bursts of, of change um, sometimes as opposed to just a steady, steady change over time, that, that really affects the structure of the play and because uh, all these characters have these things where things just the word their worlds change and they have no control over it and they're basically forced to either to adapt or, or die. Uh, in in DC, there was a production at Woolly Mammoth Theater and they actually brought in a whole panel of scientists related doing a talk back related to the show. Um, they were all like NOAA marine biologists and scientists, and they, so I feel like I got the seal of approval from them as far as all those, the specific things I was talking about in the play. So, yeah, they, I think they, they've enjoyed it.